All right, I made one of these videos and I thought I solved the problem on this stupid brother printer, which all I had to do was be more specific. I'm gonna tell you exactly how to fix that before you even watch all my troubleshooting that I've done. But the answer to the slide the drum error problem is, slide all the green tabs to the right. That is what cleans your Corona wire, that little thin wire in there. That's the fix. Now you could watch me for about three minutes trying to fix this darn thing and thinking I solved it, but I told you the fix in the beginning. Right, I got a brother printer here, and if you got any brother printer, it doesn't matter what model it is, we're cleaning the drums out. It's saying drum error, slide the green slide thing. I'm going to show you what that is. That's still not fixing the problem. It's telling me that they all have an error. Well, we have a dirt problem, or uh, what do you call that? Ink. Ink problem. So we're going to lift this up. You get to your drums. Some people don't know what a drum is. I got one hand here. I'm trying to do this for you guys. Uh, I'm going to eject this. You can see mine has a bunch of dust everywhere. And this is the problem. What I'm going to do is get my vacuum, suck all this up. I'm going to clean this area here, right here with rubbing alcohol. When I pull all the drums out, and just pull all these suckers out. You can see I got an issue there. I got ink everywhere. I don't know what happened. I got a leaking cartridge. I need to send it back to the manufacturer. Anyways, I'm going to eject my blue one right here to show you guys how this is done. And your drum is located right here. This is your drum. I'll bring it up to my counter. It is this black bar. All you're doing is taking rubbing alcohol. Got some rubbing alcohol here. Uh, I'm going to spray it on the, what we call this thing, paper towel, napkin, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to clean all my drums. This is going to solve your problem. Just clean the heck out of it. Get an air duster, blow it all out. The reason it's reading this is because of all the spilled ink and stuff. I don't know what's going on with my machine. It's only about six months old. But once you do this and you do a good job cleaning this belt right here, uh, it'll be back online to be working. It tells you to slide this over here. Well, they're all already slid. Also, there is one more thing you could look at. Um, it could be a common problem, not 100%, but when you slide these over, slide it real slow. I can't, it's really hard for me to do this, guys, with one hand. And just feel, if it's catching on something, let me see, hold on. If it's not sliding real smooth, or if you're, um, God, I forget what they call this. If it's not sliding smooth and it's just like feeling like it's rough, try to get in here with a duster, uh, maybe like a small toothbrush, and just brush it back and forth. Uh, just all you're doing is cleaning. When it's saying drum error, you're getting a drum error because you got a bunch of dust everywhere like me. So clean it up, get it fixed, get it started again. Let me know how it worked. Uh, if it worked out for you, just give me a thumbs up. That's all I ask. So, thanks so we're making a video on how to clean the drum error. And I was done making the video because I thought I knew the problem. Look at this. I pulled this sucker up. This is your tray where you print off of. There's another tray to clean up, but what do you guys see in there? It's a freaking rubber band. A freaking rubber band got stuck in there. So look in here and inspect the damn unit and make sure that you don't have uh, anything stuck in there. <laughs> I had to put this in there. This is ridiculous. All right. So anyways, I got it out. I'm pretty sure that is my issue and not the dusty whatever. So if you have a drum error because of dirty drums or if you have a error because of a rubber band or a piece of dirt or something that got up in there, um, something that might help is having your unit off the floor. We picked ours up off the floor because we would end up getting like crumbs and stuff like that going in there. We're actually out of business. So by uh, lifting it off the floor that really did help it was a good tip by having it about oh, about four or five inches off the floor on it so